Will you stand, please, in honor of the bride? Who presents this lady to be married to this gentleman? I do. All right, Dad, step right up. God bless you. Thank you, Dad. Give her a kiss on the cheek there, Dad. Thank you, sir. You may be seated, and you may be seated in the audience as well. Put your arm through his. Relax. Put your arm Come over just a little bit. Well, Jeff and Stephanie, what a wonderful evening this is in your lives. It's an evening of joy and celebration and it's also one of the most meaningful experiences that any of us will ever have and how great it is to know that the person standing by your side loves you and they have chosen you above everyone else to spend their life with so what a happy day and a happy evening that you'll never forget as long as you live and how wonderful it is to have all of your guests, your family and friends that have joined with you to celebrate this special day in your lives. And I'm sure it makes you feel very loved as a result of them being here this evening. You know, there are many ways to express the love that you have for each other. And one of the best is just by loving each other unselfishly every day. I believe that when you truly love someone, that you simply want the very best for them. You enjoy seeing them smile. You want them to have a wonderful, happy life right alongside of you. And I believe that when you express your love often to each other, you'll end up having a home that's filled with love. You know, I think that's the only kind of home that there is. The rest are just houses, aren't they? But when you truly love each other, your home is one of the greatest places in your lives. It's a place where you can recuperate from stress, where you build an intimate relationship with each other, and where you share each other's hopes and dreams. It's also just a whole lot of fun <laughs> to go home to someone you love. So may your home always be filled with love and laughter friendship and kindness and caring for each other every day. It's also great to give gifts to each other when you're in love and you know I found out a long time ago Jeff that ladies never get tired of receiving <laughs> gifts. They always like that. You know I found out they like diamonds and shoes if I'm not mistaken. But you know, there are gifts that you can give to each other that are far more valuable than things. And the best gift you have for each other here today and every day is yourselves. What a great gift that other person is into your lives. And you can express that by just being each other's best friend, by loving each other through all the changes and the challenges of life by being open and honest as you communicate with each other. And finally, because we all disagree, you guys never disagree though, do you? <laughs> I'm just checking to see if you're normal, that's all. <laughs> what a great gift forgiveness is, right? And if you practice loving and giving and forgiving every day, you'll have a great and a happy life together. That's why you're here, isn't it? So I trust that you remember that. We have your flowers for a few moments. We'll just pass them along here and turn and face each other, hold both hands, look into each other's eyes. And Jeff, I know that it's going to be hard for you to hold her hand while you read this. So I'm going to hand that to you and let you do that however you please. But uh, share your vows that you have this evening.
Stephanie, I promise to love you forever, even after death has overtaken our bodies. I promise to build a caring and compassionate home and life together where we can share our love with those most in need. To continue to grow together in that love, making it more beautiful and stronger by the day. I promise to always be supportive and life-giving, to nurture and respect you for the goddess you are. Thank you for making me the luckiest man on earth. I love you. All right. Stephanie, go right ahead and share yours. As well. It's like, today I choose to spend the rest of my life with you. You are the salt to my sunflower seeds, the almond milk in my coffee, the yin to my yang. You teach me to be a better person and have always been a loving force in my life. I promise to spend all the days of our lives together showing you the same love and affection you've shown me over the years. I promise to love you unconditionally, to support you, and be there for you no matter what. I choose you forever and ever and can be happier to be your wife. I love you. Uh. Oh, no, no. Okay, no problem. Put this in your pocket there. Keep holding hands so you look like you love each other. <laughs> All right. Well, Jeff and Stephanie, before these witnesses this evening, you have pledged your love to each other, shared your vows of how you plan to live your lives together in the future. And it's my privilege as a representative of the state of Nevada to now pronounce that you are husband and wife. And I think she has a Kleenex for you over there. You might need that. <laughs> Let's accommodate the bride for a moment. This is her moment. That's all right. Oh, my goodness. And it's my privilege to pronounce that you are husband and wife. And, Jeff, you may kiss your bride. Go right ahead, please. Let's hear some cheering out there, you guys. All right. I love you. I love you. What about the ring? Let's have the flowers. What about the ring? Here's your flower. Oh, well, I guess we better do the rings. Yeah. I got all carried away with you guys reading to each other there. So you have the rings. Take the ring, place it on stage. I got all carried away with what they were saying to each other, so I apologize, you guys. And a lovely ring it is, too. Repeat after me, with this ring. With this ring. With this ring. With this ring. I promise you. I promise you. My faithfulness and love. My faithfulness and love for eternity. All right, and you have a ring for him? All right, repeat after me. With this ring. With this ring. Other hand. Oh. Multiple choice, right? Yeah. <laughs> With this this ring, is new for me. <laughs> With this ring. I promise you. I promise you. My faithfulness and love. My faithfulness and love. All right. You can kiss again if you like. I, I think you. he's dying too anyway. This is a most unusual wedding here. Sorry about that. Here's your flowers. And now you can escort your lovely wife down the aisle. Go right ahead. Congratulations. Let's hear some more cheering out there, you guys. Go right ahead.